The idea behind the wholesale business model for selling on Amazon is to compound your money as quickly as possible. And so what that looks like in the context of this business is if you spend $10,000 on inventory, then it should come back as say 12,000, spend that 12,000, it comes back as 15,000, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a really great business model for snowballing your money, assuming you're making really good inventory decisions and purchasing good products. And so that's what the topic of this video is about. I'm gonna go into three ways to effectively compound your money the quickest way possible. And so before I get into the bulk of the video, if you wouldn't mind taking a second to like the video, it really motivates me to make more. Uh, subscribe for more videos just like these and then leave a comment as well if there's anything that you think I should go into more detail on. But with that being said, let's get into the bulk of the video. So like I said, compounding your money is really the whole premise behind the wholesale business model for selling on Amazon. And so there's three main things that you can do to really speed up that process, assuming you're working with the right kind of suppliers and buying the right types of inventory. So the first thing, the first way to go about compounding your money quicker is going to be to get better pricing from your suppliers. Now that obviously, that seems like a pretty obvious point, right? But there's actually a way to go about doing that that's gonna be more effective. And that's just simply buying in volume, right? Buying in bulk. So for example, if you're trying to buy a product from a distributor and you only wanna buy say 30 units, well, there's somebody else out there that's buying 300 units or maybe even 3000 units and they're gonna be getting a better price than you are. So therefore, they're gonna be able to compound their money quicker than you are. So when it comes to getting better pricing from your distributors, it's all about volume. And when you're approaching, let's just say it's a, a distributor that you're, or a supplier that you're working with for the first time, chances are they're not gonna be willing to give you discounts up front unless it is a large order. So the idea is to typically start small with a test order or two. And then as you get into those higher dollar amounts, as far as your POs are concerned, that's when you'll be able to buy in larger volume and therefore get better discounts which is gonna increase your returns and put more money in your pocket. So the second way to go about compounding your money faster is to get terms with your suppliers, or if you have terms with your suppliers, getting better terms with your suppliers. Now, what I mean by terms is simply just think of it as a line of credit with your suppliers that's due after a set amount of time. So what's very common in the industry is to have net 30 terms. And what that means is that you don't have to pay your supplier until 30 days after the invoice date. So if it's net 15 terms, it's 15 days after the invoice date, net 60 terms, 60 days after the invoice date, et cetera, et cetera. And so there's obvious benefits to having terms with your suppliers because if I don't have to pay my supplier until 30 days after they've shipped me the inventory, if I've been doing my buying correctly and I'm buying in the correct quantities, I should be able to sell through the vast majority of that inventory in that 30 day period so that when I go to pay my supplier, I'm probably gonna be paying them with the profit from the products that I bought from them. So the longer, the, I guess the, the longer the terms you can have, I mean, if you can get net 60, for example, which we only have with one supplier, and that's gonna be a hard thing to ask for, but if you can get net 60 with a supplier, then you should be able to sell everything that you buy from them before it's even time to pay them back. And so you can obviously see how this is gonna stretch out your cash a lot farther and also just make your cash flow that much stronger. Now, the third thing that you can do to really compound your money quicker is to place special orders with your suppliers. And so when I say special order, what I mean by that is, let's just say your supplier carries brand A and there's a product from brand A that you really wanna buy, that you see that product on Amazon, it's doing volume, the price point is good, competition is minimal, but your supplier doesn't carry that specific product, but they carry that brand, well then what you can usually do is you can reach out to your supplier and say, hey, I would like to special order this particular product from this brand that you guys carry. And so most suppliers, if they have access to a brand, are gonna have access to most of, if not all of the products from that brand, even if they don't carry them on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you place a special order for that product, your supplier might say, okay, we can get it from the manufacturer. It's just gonna be two weeks, or four weeks, or however long to get it to you, right? They'll let you know what that lead time is gonna be. And so when you do special orders with your suppliers, it's a way to just do more business with your existing supplier base because if normally you would have only bought, let's say three SKUs from a given brand from a distributor, but if you're able to special order another three SKUs from that same brand, from that supplier, then that just essentially doubled your business with that supplier. And therefore they're gonna be more willing to give you discounts, better terms, and also just sell you more product. So at the end of the day, those are three things that you can do to really compound your money a lot quicker in this business. One is getting better pricing in the form of buying in volume. Two is to get better terms, which just means longer time to pay your suppliers, right? And typically, 
the more promptly you pay your suppliers and the longer you've had a relationship with them, the easier it's gonna to be to get terms and the easier it's gonna to be to get longer terms. And the third thing is just what I mentioned about placing special orders because special orders are just a way to spend more money with your suppliers on good products that everybody else does not have access to, right? Because most people are not gonna be placing those special orders. And sometimes those special orders can be much more profitable than products in their normal catalog. So I hope this video was helpful. These are three things that we've done in our business to really compound our money a lot quicker. So if it was, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you enjoyed about the video and be sure to follow me on Twitter at Ganim Corey. So thank you so much for watching.